everybody, I am Nathan and today in this PSLE 2016 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 7. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So, let's move on to question 7. Okay, so this question is testing us on angles, okay? Okay, so there's two parts to solve this question, part A and part B later in this video. So, let's go through part A. A first so first let's read the question in the figure a b c d is a parallelogram and d e f g is a rhombus c d e is a straight line angle a b c equals 51 degrees angle g a d equals 25 degrees and angle f g e equals 35 degrees find angle ADG. Okay, so this is what they are telling us to find angle ADG. Okay, so since there we have read the question, we can move on to highlighting the key information. So ABCD is a parallelogram, DEFG is a rhombus, and CDE is a straight line, angle ABC 51 degrees, angle GD equals 25 degrees, and angle FGE equals 35 degrees. So they are telling us to find angle ADG. So where is angle ADG? It is over here. Angle, angle A, okay, A, D and then G. Okay. So here is the line. Okay. So this is the angle ADG. Okay. Okay. So when you are writing down the angles over here, right? Please always use a pencil because um, sometimes when you are writing it, if in pen, right? Um, if you make a mistake, you cannot erase it. This is what happened to me in my essay 1. For one of the angles question, I forget to use my pen. So I used the pen, but then I made a mistake. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes in the question, in the, like, doing this. So I could not erase it, and then it confused me a lot. So please do use pencils, and it might help you just gain one or two marks more, okay? But then, when you're writing your working, please do use a pen. If not, the teachers will penalize you. So, um, A, D, G, okay? So, this is the angle that we need to find. So, they're telling us that angle A, B, C is 51 degrees. So, in order to find this angle, what am I going to do? So, they are telling us that C, D, E is a straight line, right? Right? So, they are telling us that this line over here in black is a straight line okay so what am i going to do so i'm going to take i'm going to find these two angles over here and i'm going to take the 180 degrees over here get it i am going to use the 180 degrees over here minus of these two blue angles which will give me angle ADG okay so this is how we are going to solve this question okay so first we need to find this angle over here this blue color angle so first we should know we, we should list down the properties of angles first okay so um a, B, C, D is the parallelogram, right? Right? This is, that is what the question has told us. Okay? So, this is a parallelogram. So, all its lines are parallel to each other. So, uh, C, D is parallel to B, A. And C, B is parallel to A, D. And then they have told us that D, E, F, G is a rhombus. So all of its sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel to each other. Okay? So they are parallel. 
okay so this is what it means so now first in order to find this blue color angle we should know the property of the parallelogram that opposite angles are equal to each other so basically this angle is also 51 degrees so this is a property that you must remember okay so cd angle cda equals to angle cba okay c b a so see this angle angle c d a is equal to angle c b a equals to 51 degrees so it is opposite angles of a parallelogram okay so now 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 that you have found this angle i'm going to find this angle over here this blue color angle so in order to do that i need to find some other angles like in order to find this angle we can we should know that this is 35 degrees Do you know why is that 35 degrees because this is the base angles of an isosceles triangle okay you might ask me but where is the isosceles triangle can you see you know that isosceles triangle the two sides must be the same length right So this is why they are equal lengths. So this is why this is a isosceles triangle. Okay. So this is a isosceles triangle. Okay. So just like this triangle over here. This triangle opposite opposite it is also an isosceles triangle okay so this triangle over here is also an isosceles triangle okay so what can you learn from this you can learn that in a rhombus in the rhombus there are two isosceles triangle in all rhombuses there are always two isosceles triangles connecting each other okay so remember that okay now that we have found these two uh, these two angles we know that these two angles are 35 degrees we can find this angle over here because this is still a triangle right so we can find angle g f e okay so angle g f e is equal to 180 degrees because there's um in a triangle that are hundred that is 180 degrees right minus these two 35 degrees it will give us 110 degrees so this is the sum of angles in a triangle okay so this is 110 degrees so same thing same rule applies for the rhombus as well so opposite angles are equal in the parallel parallelogram and the rhombus only when two parallel only when there are parallel lines in all sides right then we can consider opposite angles are equal such as the trapezium opposite angles are not equal okay so um 110 degrees here 110 degrees here as well okay so now in order to find angle ADG we just need to take 180 degrees this straight line CDE minus 51 degrees over here angle CDA minus 110 degrees angle GDE or and yeah angle GDE okay which will give us angle ADG which is 19 degrees okay so this angle over here is 19 degrees okay so i hope you understand that now so let's move on to part b now that we have found the answer for part a so i hope you understand my explanation for part a let's move on to part b now okay so this is part b okay so part b um we found angle adj adg sorry 
which is 19 degrees. We know that this is 110 degrees. We know that this is 35 degrees. We also know that this is 110 degrees. And we know that in the rhombus there are two isosceles triangles. So over here it is also 35 degrees. So over here it is also 35 degrees. And we have found out over here is 51 degrees. Okay, so angle AGD. We are going to find this angle. Uh, sorry. Um, so we are going to find this angle ADG. ADG. It's here. ADG. So this angle AGD, sorry, not ADG. AGD over here is in this triangle over here. So I hope you can see it. See this triangle? Yeah, so this is the triangle. So I found out that here is 19 degrees already. So it is really easy to find this angle over here because we know the sum of the triangle, right? So um, it's basically taking 180 degrees minus 25 degrees minus 19 degrees, which will give us the answer over here, 136 degrees, okay? Now, um, this is basically how we found Um, let me erase the the triangle first, the highlighted triangle. Okay, so this is basically how we found this 35 degrees over here. But then, um, instead of dividing all of this, um, in, we do divide it. But then, um, we divide it in order to get 35 degrees. Okay, since they are the they are identical isosceles triangles, right? We can easily write 35 degrees on both sides. Okay, so remember in a rhombus, when we split it into half, there's two isosceles triangles which are identical. So this angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle, and this opposite angles are equal to each other. Okay, so remember that. So this is how you get the 35 degrees over here. Okay, in order to find angle AGF, right, this is the question for part B, right? We are supposed to find angle AGF. In order to do that, we are going to use this concept known as angles at a point. Okay? So, angles at a point. So, this is the point over here. And so, basically, in angles at a point, right, so this is the point. This is an example I'm showing you. So this is the point. Now, angles at a point. This whole point is basically 360 degrees. So imagine if I have like some angles. And then like that. So imagine like 360 degrees, right? Then this is um, some angle, some angle. So all of these angles add up to 360 degrees. So this is using the angles at a point concept, okay? So I hope you understand that. So that is the same thing applied to this here. So we are using angles at a point and we have all the angles. In order to find this angle, AGF, we have all the angles. So we need to find angle A, G, and F here, right? So this is the angle we need to find. So basically we use angles at a point. We take 360 degrees minus all these angles over here, which is 136, 35, and then 35 as well. So this is basically what we do to get angle A, G, F, okay? So this is exactly what I did. So 360 degrees minus 136 degrees minus 35 degrees minus 35 degrees, which is 154 degrees. Okay, so I hope you understand my explanation for part B as well. So I hope you understand my explanation for part A and B and I hope you have learned something new from this video. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.